My brother Milo has challenged me to an amazing digital circus build battle. But little does he know, I have help. Chip, come on, let's start. Okay, Milo. Now remember, the theme is amazing digital circus. And there are loads of different builds inside this dispenser. I'm really excited to see what we get. Okay, I'm going to press it. And the first build is Pomni. I love Pomni. This is so awesome. I can't wait to beat you. No, I can't wait to beat you. I'm going to build Pomni better than you ever can. No way! Me and Milo each have five minutes to build, and then we're going to score each other's buildings. But I'm not alone. I'm going to have some pro help. Pomni's here. Hey, Pomni, are you excited to be helping me with my pro build? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby, we're going to rock this thing. All right, Pomni, so the first build is actually you, so you should be a total expert. First, we're going to need some blocks. Pomni, if you stand still for a second, I'm going to take a look at what colors you have so we know what to build out of. First, we need to get some red wool, some yellow wool, and some blue wool. I think Pomni's face is really pale, so we'll get some white as well, and pink for her cheeks, and some brown for her hair. Okay, this is looking really good. I don't think we've missed a single color. Let's give each of these colors to Pomni so she can build with us as well. Pomni knows herself better than anyone could possibly know her, so she'll be an expert builder on this one. Hmm. First, let's start with Pomni's shoes. Let's build the blue one first. I think we should make it over here. This is looking pretty good, and the shape of her feet are kind of weird too. They're pointy at the end. <laughs> that's funny, she's got one toe. Luckily, that's exactly how we've built this thing, so it's looking pretty perfect. Now for the other one, we're gonna make it red. Come on, Pomni, help me out. Oh yeah, teamwork is making the dream work here today. Next, Pomni has some yellow bits on top of her shoes, so we're gonna build those yellow bits here as well. Excuse me, Pomni, I'm gonna build your socks. Just like that, we're gonna make them the same thickness as the normal shoes. Oh yeah, this is looking really accurate. Pomni's legs are a really pale color, just like a clown, so we're gonna do that. They're also really thin and a little bit bendy, so it's important to add those in too. I'll do the same on this side. Hmm, how's this looking? Yeah, okay. Pomni also has really pointy knees, so it's important to make them then go backwards. Good job, this is looking just like Pomni already. Next, Pomni has some more yellow bits before her pants start. All right, let's make these yellow bits really nice and thick. Thanks, Pomni, good job. And now it's on to Pomni's pants. Pomni's pants actually have a really interesting pattern because they're striped with blue and red. First, on this side, we're gonna do a red here and a blue here. Yep, I think that looks really good. And now on this one, we're gonna do the same but flipped with blue. Now, all we've gotta do is turn this into a cool blue and red checkerboard, just like Pomni. Hey, Pomni, you're dancing on your own legs. That's so funny. All right, now, for Pomni's pants, they actually go up a couple blocks, so we're gonna need to build these slightly upwards. Let's make these super duper tall, Pomni. Whoa, she's doing such a good job. I knew I picked the right pro to help me out with this build. Who better to build Pomni than her very own self? I don't think I could ever do a better job than she could. Now that we've completed that, it's time to build the next level of Pomni. And it's on to her torso. One half of Pomni is red and the other half is blue. I personally think that this half should be red and that this half should be blue. Oh yeah, it's looking so realistic right now. Now let's look at her back. It actually goes the same the whole way through. Pomni is really just one blue raspberry flavored popsicle and one cherry flavored popsicle. That's so funny. Let's build these all the way up so Pomni can be nice and tall. I say we do about eight blocks up for each of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and then we can just continue the same thing the whole way around. How are you liking your build of yourself so far, Pomni? Oh, I think she really likes it. That's awesome. Let's keep going. I think this is gonna look incredible when it's fully done. I wonder if Pomni's ever built herself before. 
I've built myself a bunch of times, but I reckon this could be a new thing for her. All right, the blue side is now totally done. Let's help Pomni with the red bits. And done! We've both finished this part of Pomni, but I think we're forgetting something. Pomni actually has a bunch of yellow in between her chest and her legs, so we're gonna add some yellow on the sides. Just like this, it's looking just like the real Pomni. And also, Pomni has some yellow buttons on her chest, so let's add those buttons here. Now it's time to build her shoulders and her arms. First, we're gonna extend this part out just by one, and we're gonna do it the entire way around on both the blue and the red side. Good job, Pomni! And now we're just gonna build this eight blocks up the same way we did before. Pomni, is this the best statue you've ever made before? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm so excited! It's such an honor. Pomni's kind of my hero, so this is really cool. All right, you keep working on the blue side, Pomni. I'll get started on the red bits. Pomni's got lots of red, yellows, and blues, and those are some of the coolest colors ever. Other than orange, of course, but hey, Red and yellow together make orange, so I reckon Pomni's off to a pretty good start. All right, and we finished it off, perfect. Okay, Pomni, let's take a look at you. What's missing here? Oh, that's right, your arms. Okay, your arms have blue and red on each of them, so we're gonna get started on that right now. I'm gonna build your first arm out here. Yeah, this is looking good, and now we're gonna add some reds and blues. Okay, this is looking just like the real Pomni! Awesome! Let's continue it around the sides so that it looks fully accurate. Let's also add the blues on this one. Okay, perfect! Now let's do the same on the other side. Even though this is on the blue side, there's still more red than blue on Pomni's arms. I'm not sure why. Whoever designed Pomni did a really cool job there. Maybe it was Kane. I guess we'll just have to find out. Maybe Pomni can even tell us. No, Pomni doesn't want to tell us. It must be something crazy. Okay, let's just keep building then. The next step in building Pomni's arms is to build the yellow bits before her real arms begin. Let's quickly do those right now. And boom, now it's time to start on Pomni's really long pale arms. Pomni looks just like a traditional clown, so it's really handy that there are lots of pale blocks in Minecraft to build with. Pomni's arms are gonna extend downwards to the sides, so she's gonna be doing a really cool pose when we're done with them. Good job, Pomni! She's building her own arm. That is so funny. On Pomni's blue side, she has a red hand, and on her red side, she has a blue hand. That's why we're gonna make a red hand right over here. Pomni wears gloves, so it's a little difficult to see what her fingers really look like, but I think we can manage. All right, we're doing a pretty good job with these hands so far. Let's just make sure we get it fully right. I don't wanna accidentally upset Pomni. All right, we're almost completely matching it up on this side. I think we made this finger really, really long, so let's do the same. Milo could never build hands like these. I wonder what Milo's actually doing right now. Probably nothing like this. Now that we've finished both of the hands, we've just got to add the little yellow gloves on the side of each one. Yeah, Pomni's helping out with this one. Thanks, girl. Now onto maybe the most difficult part, Pomni's face. We're gonna need to make this thing pretty big because it has a lot of detail on it that I don't want to miss. Hey, Pomni, do you even have a neck? Oh, no, she doesn't. She's just a cube. Okay, there's a cube on, I think, a bit of yellow under there. Pomni, could you look up for a second? Oh yeah, that's perfect! Okay, there's a bow and a little piece of white in the center, so we're just gonna build the bow right here. There's gonna be a nice square ring, because this is Minecraft after all. We can't build anything that's not a square. That would be silly! Now it's time to get started on Pomni's face. Let's build a giant square all the way around this thing. Cool beans! Now let's build it upwards as high as it can go. Yeah, good job, Pomni. Let's keep doing this on every single side. How did you get to be so pale anyway? You really need some extra sunshine. Oh, I guess they must not have sunshine in the digital circus. That's understandable then. You should ask Kane to get a tanning bed. I think out of all the characters in the amazing digital circus, Milo would be best friends with Kinga because they're both so silly. Pomni, I'm so glad you agree. Now it's time to start on your face, Pomni. If you just want to face the front, I want to get a good idea of exactly what you look like. Okay, Pomni has a gray mouth. We totally forgot the color gray. Let's fix that. Quickly make Pomni's mouth here. Okay, this looks perfect. 
Now it's time to start on Pomni's pink rosy cheeks. I wonder how she got those. Maybe she's just blushing all the time. Someone must make her really nervous in the digital circus. Now Pomni's eyes, oh, they're black. I totally forgot. We need to get black wool as well. This is embarrassing. I'm sorry for forgetting what you look like, Pomni. Oh, Pomni says not to worry about it. Okay, I won't. Pomni's eyes are really, really, really big, so we're gonna do them absolutely huge. I wonder why Pomni's always got that really shocked expression. She must be seeing something totally crazy. Now for the eyes, we need to grab some smooth quartz stairs. This is gonna be a little bit complicated, but just trust me, it's gonna look cool. Behind the white wool, we're gonna put red wool and blue wool in this exact pattern. Now, when we break this white wool, we have to put the stairs in just like this, and kapow! Pomni's eyes look just like they do in the real Pomni. See? Blue and red in a checkerboard pattern. Let's do the same on this other side. Pomni must be loving this. I want a statue of me made just like this one. And of course, Pomni has her brown hair going over and around her eyes. Let's not forget to add that. And boom, we've added the hair. Finally, let's add Pomni's famous yellow headband. The yellow headband is really important because it is what leads into Pomni's super cool dangly jester hat. Let's make the yellow headband two blocks high. I want this to be as accurate as possible. Now that we've done that, it's time to actually build this jester hat. First, we're gonna build a red segment going up from here and then a blue segment on this side. This is exactly what Pomni has for real. Let's make each of these go all the way to the back, and then they're actually gonna go up in a staircase pattern, just like this. Pomni looks like she has a roof on her head, but it's actually not a roof, it's just part of her hat. It still looks cool though, which is why we're gonna be building it right now. Let's help out with the blue side over here. Oh yeah, I'm so excited to see how this turns out. Amazing! We've finished this, but Pomni still looks silly. She looks like a sailor. Now it's time to add the actual Jester's hat. Pomni has two red bits on her Jester hat and then two blue bits on either side. It's a little difficult to build, Pomni, but I'm sure your sense of fashion is more important. The jester hat then goes up and backwards in the same way on either side. We've done the first part of Pomni's jester hat. Now we've just got to do the sides and we're good. Pomni's sides of her jester hat have a blue bit at the front and a red bit at the back, but they kind of go downwards. So let's build them exactly how Pomni has them herself. Then let's do the red bit at the back of these. Okay, this is looking pretty good. On the other side, we're gonna do the same thing. And now the most important part is Pomni's dangly jester jingle bells. Let's do one on this side and one on this side. Okay, I'm really happy with this. I think we're done with the Pomni build. What? Pomni, you're not happy with this? What do you want? What? Why is Pomni breaking her own face? Stop that, Pomni! Oh, you're doing something inside here? What are you building? Oh, it's a bedroom! Oh, yeah, that's a great idea! Okay, I like this a lot. I think if we have a secret passageway above Pomni's mouth into her bedroom, this could look really cool. Let's help Pomni out with the floor. While Pomni is trying to figure out what to build inside of here, we are gonna add some iron doors and some levers so it becomes really easy to get in and out of this Pomni. See, from a distance, you can barely tell that Pomni has a secret house inside of her. But then when you open these doors, boom, we're literally in Pomni's head. Pomni, did you build a cake? Is this real cake or amazing digital circus fake cake? Wait a minute, this is real cake? That's so exciting. Oh, I'm gonna be so hungry. And so will Milo. When he rates this thing, he better eat some of that cake and rank us a little higher. Do you think it's time to score Milo's build? Okay, me too. Pomni, you're gonna have to hide. Milo cannot see you because then he will know that I was cheating by having a pro help me. All right, Pomni, run away. I'll go get Milo. Milo, are you ready to see each other's builds? I'm so excited to see what you've done. Me too. Can I see yours first? Yeah, come over and have a look. Whoa, Pomni, more like Blondie. What do you mean? This looks exactly like Pomni. It's kind of cool. I like what you've done. You've used a lot more yellow, white, and red than I have, and those are my favorite colors because they make orange. Yep, that's right. This Pomni looks like the real deal. I even put some really cool little details on the face. Uh, yeah, like the two eyes. That's right, 
Chipsy. I know you're really smart. <laughs> Thanks, Milo. And I like how the hat looks like a box of popcorn. Yeah, because Pommy really likes to eat popcorn. Oh, yeah. I guess that is true. Yup. And look at the hands. There's so much detail. Yeah, you're right. There is a lot of detail. It's almost like they're pointing directly at my build. I can't wait to see your build, Chip. I just know you've done something pretty cool. Yep, I have. Let's go look at it. Oh, wow, Chip. This is amazing. Thanks, Milo. I worked really hard on it. It looks just like Pomni. I can hardly believe it. There's so much detail on the face. Her eyes look exactly like real Pomni eyes. I know. I had a real clear image in my head. Let's just say that. Really? Wow. I didn't have any reference. I was just going off the top of my head. Yeah, I could kind of tell. And it's really cool. I even made the buttons. And there's a secret inside to Pomni's face. It's a bedroom. A secret? Oh, Chip, you really have done yourself. Wait, let me get inside real quick. It's designed to be really tricky. Look, there's even a red and blue bed for Pomni to sleep in and some cake. This is amazing. I can't believe you really used the inside of Pomni's head to build a bedroom. Yeah, Pomni's head is really cool. I spent lots of time on it. Chip, I'm going to bounce on these beds because that's so much fun. Okay, Milo, come on. Why don't we... Pomni, what are you doing? Get out of here. Milo's going to see you. We can't let him see us, remember? He'll find out that we're cheating. Get out of here. Go, go, go. Pomni, not there. No, you need to go away. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Um, uh, hey, Milo. Yeah? Um, just stay in here for a second, okay? I need to check something. All right. I'm going to eat all the cake. Okay. I think the coast is clear. Pomni's running away. Now, uh, Milo. What? Chip? Uh, get out of here. It's... Wait a minute. Did you eat the cake? Maybe. <laughs> okay. I think your tour of my build is coming to an end. Really, Chip? Well, I'm very impressed. I guess it's time to rate each other's builds. Yeah, totally. I'm gonna rate your build first. Okay. What you gonna give it? I think I'm gonna give your build a... 8 out of 10. Because it does look really cool. And I like the colors. Really? Okay, what do you score mine? Well, Chip, I hate to say it, but I think your build might be the best thing I've ever seen. <gasps> really? What does that mean you're rating it? I'm gonna give yours a nine and a half out of ten. Whoa, that's so high. Thank you, Milo. I guess you win this round, and it is really well deserved because that's such a good Pomni. Thanks, Milo. I really tried my best. The next build is Jack's, Milo. Oh, my gosh, Jack. You funny character. I'm definitely gonna win this round. No way, I'm gonna win. Because I have a little bit of help from my good friend Pomni. Uh, Pomni! Pomni! Oh no, where's Pomni? Maybe I made her feel bad when I upset her. Oh, it must have been when I told her to hide. Okay, I uh, guess I'll just have to start this for myself. First, Jax is purple, so we're gonna build two purple bunny feet. He's also really, really skinny, so we're gonna build them super duper close together. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Now let's build the backs of Jax's bunny feet, and then we can start on his pink pants. Let's build up both legs. I know Jax is super duper duper tall, so we've got to make sure our build is tall as well. I think Jax might even be the tallest character in the entire amazing digital circus. He can reach any height. The only person that can go taller than him is Kane, but Kane can fly, so he's cheating. I'm really glad I have Pomni helping me today and not Jax, because Jax is actually really mean and cheeky. He plays so many pranks on all of his friends. Jax also has really tall overalls so we're gonna build them as well okay this is looking pretty good so far now let's make Jax's big purple arms he's basically one big spaghetti noodle that somebody left in a vat of purple paint it's actually kind of funny when you think about it Jax also has big yellow gloves so that is exactly what we're gonna add here all right let's add some fingers and oh yeah baby this is looking awesome Wow, hands are really difficult to build, especially ones with gloves. I think that's pretty good, even though it looks a bit like an oven mitt. Let's build the same thing on the other side. We don't want Jax to only have one hand, then he'd be way less cheeky. Even though I don't want him to be cheeky to me, it's still a really fun part of Jax. 
Now, I've built Jax really, really tall, but now it's time to start on his face. Jax's face is actually a big oval, so we're gonna make it super duper huge. There's gotta be a lot of detail on it, so we're gonna make this thing pretty big. It's gonna look a little bit silly next to his tiny spaghetti noodle body, but I think it's important to build this as accurate as we can. All right, I've almost got the shape of Jax's face totally complete. All right, all right, now it's time to start on the actual things inside of Jax's face. Jax's face is pretty bulgy, so I think we need to make the front of it stick out just like this. And now we can fill the whole thing in. Thanks, Barney, you're doing a really good job helping. All right, and now it's time to start on Jax's really interesting eyes. His eyes are actually huge and take up a massive part of his face. We're gonna build the black parts of his eyes like this and the yellow parts just like that. Whoa, this looks a lot like Jax so far. Let's do the same thing on the other side to make sure that our Jax is perfectly symmetrical. And now it's time for Jax's signature big bright yellow smile. Oh yeah, this is looking kind of freaky. Now it's time to add Jax's big bunny ears. Jax's bunny ears actually just go straight up. They don't flop or anything. I guess when you're a digital bunny, you don't have to worry about having realistic ears. Let's actually make the ears go slightly tilted. I think that'll look super duper cool. Oh yeah, this looks just like the real Jax. What do you think, Pomni? Oh yeah, you love it, that's awesome. I reckon we see what Milo thinks about this. All right, I'm gonna go ask Milo to score each other's builds. You better get out of here, Pomni, before Milo sees you again. Chip, the time's up, come look at my build. Okay, I will, and uh, Milo, Jax is really short. I mean, you've done a great job, but I thought Jax was taller than this. Well, I didn't know how tall he was, so I just built something. Hey, I think we used the same block colors for this. Yeah. Jax is a really pretty purple color. I know, I like it too. And I like what you did with the eyes as well. Yeah, he's looking to the side because he's a really cheeky guy. He reminds me of the purple guy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh yeah, I see what you're talking about. You did a really good job, Milo. Thanks Chip, this is my favorite build I've ever done. Jax looks like a silly guy. This build is definitely an eight and a half out of 10. That's even better than last time. Wow, I have a real chance of winning. And here is my Jax, Milo. What? Oh my gosh, Chip, he looks so real. Yeah, that's because I've got a pretty good idea of what Jax looks like. Oh gosh, I really hope Pomni doesn't show up. She could show up at any time and that would ruin this. Uh, Milo, let's just keep looking at Jax. All right, I feel like I'm actually watching the amazing digital circus when I look at your belt. Aw, thanks Milo, me too. There's no hidden base inside of Jax's head, but what do you think of this build? Just wait, I'm gonna check in case. Hey. I guess you weren't lying to me. There's no bedroom in here. Please be nice to my build, Milo. You can't just be breaking Jax. Hey, look, I'm disguising in Jax's face. Does this look silly? Milo, you're so easy to spot because you're bright blue and Jax is purple. I wish I was purple as well. All right, Milo, what do you rate my build? That's a really good question. I think this is even better than your Pomni build, so I'm gonna give it a nine and a half. Wait, that's the same rating you gave my Pomni build. Really? I forgot, but I guess it's still a nine and a half. Thanks, Milo. I'm really proud of it. Wait, if you got nine and a half, that means you won this round again. Oh yeah, I definitely did. I'm definitely beating you so far. I guess so, but I'm just gonna have to try even harder. The next build is Circus Tent, Milo. Yay, I can't wait to build it. Let's get started. Yeah. Wait a minute. Pomni, is that you? Here's what we have to build. It's a circus tent. Okay, uh, do you think you can help me with that? Wait, what? Why did you just place this block in the middle? And wait a minute, why are you doing redstone? Pomni, I don't understand. We're building a circus, not a machine. Um, Pomni, I'm really confused here. We're wasting time. We have a full circus to build. What is this? What? A lever? Pomni, what do you want me to do with a lever? Oh, wait, do you want me to turn this lever on? Okay, um, sure, I will. All right, but Pomni, if this turns out to be a waste of time, I'm gonna be really upset. Okay, I'll flick it then in three, two, one. Whoa! Pomni, where are we? Wait a minute, are we inside of a circus? <gasps> Wait a minute, how do we get out of here? Oh my goodness! Pomni, look! 
there's an entire tightrope here and a big ring for the ringleader to stand in. Pomni, this is insane. How did you do this? Oh, you're not gonna tell me. Okay, what does this look like from the outside? Oh, wow, it looks amazing. This is awesome. You're really good at this. Oh, hang on a second. I know what we need to do. We need to spawn circus animals inside here. I've got the perfect ones. One of the coolest things to see inside of any circus is the elephants. Oh, wow, they're so huge. And we have four of them. Look, they're even raising their trunks and saying hi. This is awesome. Now let's spawn in some circus tigers. Oh yeah, these guys are so scary, but they look just like a real circus. And now climbing on the tightrope, we're gonna spawn a bunch of tiny monkeys for everyone to watch and enjoy. Oh yeah, this is awesome. I'm loving this circus so far. Oh no, the elephants are escaping. I know exactly what to do. We're gonna put barricades at the entrances to this circus so that anybody who wants to get in is gonna have to pay some sweet, sweet coins if they wanna get in here. Yeah, Pomni definitely agrees. I'll open this for you just in case you wanna get out. I'm gonna grab these colors of wool because we need to build something else, Pomni. When the people come in to view this circus, they're not gonna have anything to eat. And that's why over here, we're gonna build a snack stand. What's your favorite food in the digital circus? Is it cake? No, um, is it oh, popcorn? Yes, okay, this stand can sell all the popcorn that all of the circus viewers could possibly want. Let's make it just the same color as you are because everybody knows popcorn is your favorite food. So it'll remind them of you and of popcorn. All right, the bottom of the stand is complete. Now let's build up this back wall just like so. And it can even come over the top, just like the lid on a box of popcorn. Let's have some iron bars on the side so nobody can come in from those parts and steal. Now, because normal popcorn is boring, we're gonna have purple popcorn, popped chorus fruit. This stuff is crazy and it'll teleport people everywhere, making the circus even more interesting than it was before. I think people are gonna love this stuff. In the stands, we're gonna have a bunch of cakes for everybody to eat while they sit down. This way, everybody can be fed, even if they don't wanna spend money on popcorn. These stands are looking pretty caked up, but hang on a second. There's no one here to enjoy the cake. Should we spawn villagers or something? Yeah, good idea. I'm gonna spawn a bunch of these guys around. They're really gonna enjoy this circus show. Oh no, the tigers are attacking the circus viewers. Come here, tigers, that is not allowed. Let's quickly get a lead to lead them away into the center of the circus. Come here, you are not meant to be attacking the circus viewers. Oh no, the other tigers are going for them too. Come here, all three of our tiger trio are gonna be taken by leads into the center of this circus. And now we will build a fence to attach all of them to. This is gonna keep all the viewers safe. Oh, look, all the viewers are completely safe from those evil tigers. Oh, <gasps> wait a second. Why are the tigers just glowing invisible eyes? This is a crazy circus. Wait a minute. This circus is just insane, Pomni. It's like we're in the amazing digital circus where things appear and disappear and go wrong and Kane is in charge of everything. Don't you think so? Uh, Pomni? Pomni? Uh-oh. Pomni, where did you go? Oh no, Pomni's gone missing too. This is terrible. Chip, are you ready? Uh, Milo, um, yeah, I'm totally ready. Come and have a look, Chip. I've done such a good job. Wait, is this a circus tent, Milo? Yeah, don't you think it looks just like one? It looks like a Christmas pyramid. No, it doesn't. It looks like a really good circus tent. It's got white and it's got red. Yeah, I guess that is what a circus has, but wait a minute, Milo, what's in the center of this thing? It's a big ring for lots of animals to live in. <gasps> wait, what animals? Can you let us in the ring and show me around? Go inside. Okay, I'm really excited to find out what animals you've chosen here. I've got lobsters! <laughs> Milo, lobsters in a circus? I've never even heard of that before. Well, you're not in any old circus. You're in Milo's circus. This is so silly. I really like it, Milo. Thanks so much. I'm glad you like my circus tent build. What do you rate it? I rate this thing a 9 out of 10. Oh! Yeah, you deserve it, Milo. All right then, I wanna see what you've done. 
I think he really likes Circus Tent, so I'm sure it's super good. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good if I do say so myself. Did you really build this, Chip? Yep, I did, all by myself, with no help from any characters in the Amazing Digital Circus. Holy guacamole, it's incredible! Thanks, Milo. Look, there's even a snack stand where people can enjoy delicious purple popcorn. One thing about me is I love a snack! Yeah, I know you do, Milo. And look, all of my viewers in the circus stands love snacks as well. They're all eating cake. They seem to really be enjoying the show. And look over here, you have some really cute little tiger friends. Yeah, I do. They're so amazing. You guys are really scary. Yeah, they're pretty scary, but they're also kind of cute. Pony, what are you doing? Get off the tie rope right now. You can't be here. Hi, little tigers. You're adorable. Wait, Chip, what did you just say? Um, I said, oh, I think Pomni's gone. Uh, I said nothing, Milo. What are you freaking out about? Uh, nothing, nothing. Um, I'm not nervous at all. Okay, maybe you're just scared of the little tigers. Uh, yeah, sure. That's what I'm scared about. All right, well, it's time for me to score your build, and I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10! Whoa, wait, really? That's amazing! Thanks, Milo! The details are just beautiful! You've really outdone yourself! Thank you. Uh, we better get out of here, though. Uh, on to the next build! Um, okay, why are you rushing so quickly, you weirdo? Uh, nothing, nothing, let's just get out of here. The final build is Kane, Milo, let's get started! Hooray! Pomni! Pomni, where are you? Come on, we have to get building! What? Pomni's nowhere to be seen? Fine, I guess I'll build Kane all by myself. For Kane, I need some black terracotta, some more magenta concrete, some white concrete as well, and a whole bunch of pink. That is really important. We also need blue and green for Kane's eyes. And some black as well, just for good measure. Okay, now that we've got all the colors, I think we can actually start building Kane. Kane is a really interesting character because he's actually just some teeth as well as a business suit. It's really silly when you think about it. Kane's got some pretty cool boots and I think this is basically what they look like. Okay, perfect. Now let's make his legs go all the way up. I believe Pomni's not helping. This could probably go kind of bad if I don't have the help of a pro like her. I think we can try, but it'll be a bit tricky. All right, now Kane has a big magenta suit and it goes kind of like this. Kane is actually one of the scariest characters in the entire digital circus. He really scares me and I'm not sure why. Maybe because it reminds me of my grandma's dentures. I don't know, I'm gonna look into it, but I don't wanna meet Kane regardless. Let's build Kane's suit up really tall because we all know Kane is a pretty tall dude. Not as tall as Jax though, and that's why I think this is a pretty good height. Let's do the same on the other side. And done! All right, now we just have to do Kane's signature bow tie. In order to do that, we're gonna break these down a couple and then these ones. We've gotta build a little bit into the suit if we want this to look just like the real Kane. And now the white part is finished. Okay, it's time to add in Kane's bow tie. It kind of looks just like this. Perfect. Now we can add the little buttons going down Kane's outfit. Oh yeah, this is really starting to come together. Let's just build up the backside of Kane a little more. We do not want this build to be completely hollow. That would be so embarrassing. And even though it's taking longer without Pomni helping us, I still think we need to get this done before the time runs out. Now let's build out Kane's arms. These are really important because he uses them a lot for his evil tricks to keep everyone trapped inside the amazing digital circus. Kane also has his gloves as well. And on this side, Kane's arm is gonna be reaching out, holding his famous digital circus scepter that he uses to channel his magical powers into reality, or digital reality at least. Kane's scepter is really long and it's the same color as his pants, but there's a little twist in that there is a massive golden orb at the very top. All right, this is looking real good so far. Now let's finally get started on Kane's face, or at least his teeth. Let's build Kane's teeth up just like this. Oh yeah, this is looking just as freaky as the real Kane. Although, let's add some parts of white snow so that it really looks like separate teeth, rather than just a big white ring. Okay, this is looking real good and real terrifying. Let's open up the front a little bit because we need space to build Kane's eyeballs. 
Kane's eyes are kind of crazy in that one is a bit bigger than the other. So we're gonna put the green one behind and the blue one ahead so that it really does look crazy, just like the real Kane. Now let's get started on the upper jaw and we'll finally be done. Let's fill this whole thing in because it's an important part of Kane's face and we need space to put the top hat on. Let's add in Kane's teeth. All right, we've built the jaws. Now we've just got to do his top hat and then we'll be totally complete. Let's build this up nice and high and okay. Kane is now complete and ready to be shown. Milo, this is the final round. Yep, I know, and that's why I've tried my hardest. Really? Oh, wow, I can see that, Milo. Your cane looks incredible. Yeah, this is my best cane that I've ever done. He's even looking really silly. Yeah, he does look silly. He kind of looks like a clamshell. Do you think if Kane saw this, he would like it? Uh, I think if Kane saw this, he'd teleport us both into the amazing digital circus. Yes, I want to go there, please. No, you don't, Milo. My friend Pomni told me... I mean, I don't know Pomni, uh, but I heard that it's really bad. Pomni? She's from the Amazing Digital Circus as well. Your cane is really good, though. I rate it a 10 out of 10. What? A 10 out of 10? That is my highest score. Oh, I'm surely going to win this round. Yeah, probably. But we've got to check on my build first. Yep, let's go see what's going on with that. All right, Milo, here is my cane build. Oh my gosh, Chip, you've outdone yourself again. Thank you. I worked really hard on it. What do you think? He looks so awesome and so realistic. I feel like he could just start talking to me. Yeah, with his giant mouth filled with eyeballs. Yeah, and he's got his really cool outfit on, and he just looks really good, Chip. Thanks, Milo. I worked really hard on it. Yeah, I think gonna rate it now <gasps> okay what do you rate it i rate it um let me think i'm gonna rate it wait a minute milo why is there tnt in my cane um chip what's going what? on what my cane it blew up why did this happen that was so scary chip what's going on wait a minute Pomni, why did you do this? You ruined my build? Now I'm not going to win after all of our hard work. Our hard work? Chip, what are you talking about? Do you cheat with Pomni? Um, uh, maybe. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm going to get you. Run! Oh, my gosh. 